Hello everybody! I'm starting my video a little differently today. I want you to see this sweet little fairy garden. And it's a little lesson on perception. I had purchased this gorgeous hanging basket full of these succulents as well as several more. And there are several hooks outside. And I hung it up there. And the, later that same day I heard this huge thud and I thought, oh, the wind blew it down because we've been having some really crazy wind and storms here. And I looked out there, but no, that wasn't the case. One arm of the hanger broke. Hmm, all over the deck was dirt and all these succulents just scattered everywhere. And I thought, well, now what can I do with all those succulents? So instead of be upset or angry, I put them all back in the hanging basket that had the broken hook, and I thought, hmm, let me ponder this. And I decided I would make a fairy garden. So I turned my lemons into lemonade. There's a wee fairy with a pond. She's got her foot in the pond. And then this little sign says, fairies, welcome. There's a little door and a little bench. Isn't that sweet? I love fairies, ladies. So now let's go downstairs and see the babies. But I think it's important, ladies, when things in our lives happen, rather than panic or, you know, figure out a way to make it work for you. Oh, here I'll show you quickly my yard a little bit. I have the windows open, which is glorious. So there are some birds out there. We have a bird bath there. And up on the fence there is a bird house. And there is a hook on that post I need to get a feeder for. Right now the only feeder I have is that there. It's like a little uh, porch swing. It has like a sieve kind of thing that you pour seed on. I've got a couple baskets, but see down there that bowl? That actually did have a hanger and it broke. So I put some sweet potato vine in it. I love sweet potato vine. I know it'll go crazy. It'll get really, really big and it'll need to be transplanted, but for now that'll work. So. But let's go down and see the babies. And I want to show you another project I did. I, lady, I, ladies, I've been rooting all week, like 10, 12 hours a day. And I decided today to take a little break and get a couple things done. One was that um, fairy garden. And the other was a little project in here that I've talked about. But first, let's see the babies. Here's the big girls. I put Jean Biev up here by herself. And then later... I brought Ivy Jane down. She's been upstairs with me while I've been working on a crochet project, but they are fast friends. They're looking so sweet, and Vijanye is reading a book. She is very into her book. And Ivy Jane has become a thumb sucker. Um, she says, hi, Mommy. We can't take her thumb out. She's enjoying it. Let's have Kai say hi to his mommy, too. There, sweet Kai. Kai Man says peace. He is such a peaceful, sweet baby. He is. But anyway, I told y'all I wanted to um, figure out a way to hang my hanging bassinet. And as I told y'all, I couldn't find a stud. Yes, a good stud is hard to find. And yes, I was being punny with my words. <laughs> Suzanne and I had a good laugh about that. Anyway, um... So I had built a stand, and it was 49 inches tall, but then when I hung the little bed from it, the bed was so low to the ground that I had to go get more PVC piping and make it taller. So here's what I came up with. But now I have to actually go get some more ivy because there's not enough. But currently, that is the state it's in. And it was over here. I had slid that over, and it was really tight, and it kind of stuck out. And it had such a big footprint that I thought, oh, I don't really like this. But then I thought, let me see, because you can see a little down there. There's a square at the bottom. I thought, let me see if the round bed fits in that square, and it fit perfectly. And I didn't even measure that. I had measured everything else, but I hadn't measured that. I do want to hide that plastic, though, so I need to pull that out a little bit. got to fix that. But anyway, so I... Um, I just need to get some more greenery or something. I really like this over here with the flowers, but they only had one. 
and that's mixed with ivy. So this just has the ivy. And then I did find this long garland that has leaves and butterflies, but I didn't want six feet of butterflies, so I kind of cut it into a couple little pieces. And then there's an I haven't there's some there, and then I have some more out in my photo area. But I did put a little flutter by there. So sweet. So saffron and sapphire are back in there hanging, bad looking. Oh, so cozy and sweet nuzzled up together but I'm really happy with this and I did I did want to put that support there just because I thought it being so tall it needed it but then I thought well I could do some hangy little things for the queen and the queen is actually okay with this she doesn't really have a choice but she's okay she didn't even bat an eyelash so that is my little stand I made for my hanging bassinet so now I have more space because you know if Vijanier and Jean Bieb go there because they're over here right now um, you know Ivy Jane and Kai will be going home to their mommies so I foresee another baby in my future ladies I am excited to announce that Atticus his pre-order will be uh, coming up on May the 23rd I believe it is I don't know if he'll be my next creation for myself because I have another baby that's like hollering me for her to paint for me to paint her for myself um, but there's a couple babies ahead of her but I'm thinking of setting up her kit out in my workspace so she can be a little cheerleader for a while for me um, but I now have more space in here ladies so I'm really happy about that I like to make the best use of space that I can now there is behind the babies I have those couple hanging things which I probably need to move either side now because you can't really see them um, that one little frame that my mom made and then the heart off of the barn those back there so I don't know I might have to move those we'll see but for now they're gonna stay there but I do hope everybody's having a blessed week um, I get so lost once I get to details on a baby forget it ladies I so love all the details um, you know the hands the feet I don't you know eyebrows take a lot of work I could take a whole day or two or three just to do eyebrows ladies I'll be honest uh, I am getting better but they do take time but I do love the details the little freckles the um, I don't know all that final stuff it just all of a sudden it makes the baby pop and once I get there I really get lost and then when I start rooting it is a lot of work but I just get into this groove and just want to see the baby done. So um, I'm almost like a machine. But um, so yeah, so I took a break today from rooting. I am going to go upstairs and do some crocheting because as I've told y'all, I need to ro uh, root and crochet in tandem. It really helps my arthritis to do both of those things because I guess I use different muscles for those things. And so anyway, so I'm going to do some crocheting this evening. And tomorrow, uh, so we had a couple things, I don't know if I told you guys this, damaged in our move. I really didn't want to have to file a claim because I found out from the guy that the, the gentleman, there were four gentlemen who packed us in Texas. Two of those four gentlemen brought our stuff back to us. And then they hired a third man here locally to help them. And I found out from him because one item was broken on the truck. And he took me out there to show me. And I'm like, you know what, let it go. It's fine. But he told me that it come, you know, he offered to give me cash. And I'm like, well, it shouldn't be up to you to pay me. And he's like, well, no, it comes out of my pay. Um, whenever a, fi a claim is filed, they assess the claim. And if it's the fault of the packing or the moving, anything my crew had something to do with, he's charged. And I just thought that was kind of unfair. But I guess it's their way of making sure they do a good job, which is what I was finally told. But anyway, um, there were a couple things that did get damaged that I did have to report because one of them is our mattress. And our mattress at the time we moved here was just one year old. And it was a really expensive mattress. And it's on my husband's side. Um, it's really hard to explain, but when you sit on that side, it like sinks. You can't really visually see it too much unless you know to look for it. But if all the linen is off of it, you can kind of see it. You, it kind of dips in, just not even. That's way too much. But it just kind of has this little dip, like a little curve on the, on the side. And then if you sit on it, probably for a good, I don't know, 16, 18 inches, the whole, there's like no support in the mattress. It's so weird. And it's one of these newer, it doesn't have coils or anything. It's one of these newer mattresses. But 
you know, it's a brand new mattress and over time, you know, and so I did check into the warranty covering it because, you know, it has a 10 year warranty or something. And they did tell me that they would replace it. I had to, you know, fill out this form and send them photos. You know, I had to sit on both sides to show and use a ruler and all this stuff to, you know, prove the damage. And they did say that the warranty would cover it. However, the place that we purchased it from, there's not a a division here anywhere locally to where we are now. So they said, first they told me that I could ship. First they told me before I filled out the forms and everything, they said, well, ship us your mattress and we'll evaluate it. Well, that didn't even guarantee me that I was going to get a new mattress. And furthermore, we wouldn't have a mattress to sleep on. I'd have to invest in a mattress anyway. Um, but then they did, I'm like, don't you have something I can send in, you know, photo proof or whatever. So they did, that woman went and talked to her manager and found out that yes, indeed they did. Anyway, so they did find that they would replace our mattress. However, because there's not one local proximity to us, um, we have to cover the shipping and then we dispose of this one on our end ourselves. Um, and Based on the size and everything, FedEx is the only carrier. Well, to ship it is more is was more than double what we paid for the mattress. So I put in the claim that I just wanted the cost of the mattress so that we could purchase a new mattress. And I said, in the event that the company wants us to utilize our warranty on the mattress, then my claim is going to be this amount, which was more than double because that would be what it costs to get the exact same mattress from the same company shipped to us. So anyway, another thing that broke is one of my new wave ovens, just the the plastic portion. They packed it all as one unit and stuck it in the box with a bunch of stuff around it so a piece cracked off. And I think I told you all this, yeah, because the doll. Anyway, so they are now it's they had to the company that moved us is a part of Atlas Moving Company. So it was then sent to Atlas. And then now I have a person coming tomorrow to, I was told, I was told we're sending somebody out to look at your items to determine if they can be fixed. And if they can be fixed, we will fix them. I said, well, unless y'all have a magic wand, I don't think a mattress can be fixed. Nothing I have is fixable. Plus there were several things missing. I said, unless y'all can wave a magic wand and make them appear, I, I really don't think, because this woman's driving over an hour, she told me where she's coming from. I'm like, okay. She's like, I won't be with you more than 20 minutes. I just have to see the items in person. I'm like, all right. And I, y'all know I love photos. I sent them tons of photos. But I guess they have to make sure that, you know, it's legitimate. So I do get it. But it's been a long process, ladies. We've been here for a while now. So, um... But, so that's going on tomorrow morning, and then after that I will get back to rooting, I think. But uh, she's coming around 9, so that'll give me enough time in the morning to um, strip the bed so that it's down to the mattress and do some of my chores within the house so that by the time she leaves I can just remake the bed. Friday's Fresh Linens Day anyway. So I will put fresh linens on the bed and then be done with my chores. And I don't, unless I decide tomorrow to go get some ivy, which I might do because this is going to bug me. Um, I'll do my best for it not to bug me tonight. If I know I'm going to do it soon, again, as I've said, I can do anything temporary. So I might either go tomorrow or possibly Saturday, but more than likely tomorrow. So I might have that one errand to do. Oh, but I really want to wait till they have that one in stock. See, that's the problem. But anyway, I'll sort it out, ladies. Um, but I do want some more decor on there. Um, but anyway, my point is that I will be back to rooting tomorrow, but tonight I'm going to crochet and, um, what else is exciting? We had some wicked storms yesterday. We were supposed to have tornadoes all day, ladies, and, um, they were supposed to start around nine, but you know, nine o'clock came and went and 10 and 11, 12, it just, nothing was happening. It was gray and you know very windy yesterday very very windy it got so windy i brought in the my hanging baskets and the the chair and the tables outside i put them in the garage because i thought oh i don't need any of that stuff blowing away but we did last night my husband was already home the alarm went off you know the tornado alarm and um we had wicked wicked wind and rain it was just pouring huge raindrops it didn't hail this time like it did last week but it did rain for about half an hour 45 minutes 
Um, and then the sun came out. It was beautiful. Today was beautiful. I got to take a nice walk today. I'm really happy about that. Um, so yeah, just living life, enjoying life. Thank you for stopping by. Um, what else? Just everybody have a blessed day today and enjoy the rest of your week. And I will hopefully be back soon to show uh, at least one finished baby. Um, and then the other one probably will be finished rooting later next week. Um, but hopefully I can get this one uh, finished up and, uh, you know, I'll put together so y'all can see. Anyway, everybody have a blessed evening and thank you for stopping by. And we send hugs and blessings to all of you. And have a fabulous Friday. Bye.